If you're trying to find something different compared to jogging, you should try this workout. It's really beneficial for raising your heart rate, boosting blood flow, and getting your body ready for more intense workouts. Your legs, core, and arms are among the many muscles used in this exercise because it calls for coordinated motions to raise the knees while preserving good form and balance. In this video, I'll be discussing the physical impacts of performing the high knees exercise, mentioning how the benefits are obtained as well. Not to stop there, I will also outline the exercise's flaw and provide advice on how to avoid it. Keep watching the video through to the very end, it's quite engaging. Let's go! 1. Leg Strength Everyone knows that training the muscles in your legs is necessary for conditioning them and improving your performance in sports. Leg strength is something that can be improved with specific exercises and workouts regardless of whether you're an athlete, fitness passionate, or just trying to improve your quality of life. There are many advantages to improving your leg strength via work and health. And one of the few ways to activate your leg muscles is to raise your knees continuously. When you do the high knees, the leg muscles there are undoubtedly used. Responsible for the benefit mentioned above. 2. Core activation. In order to execute high knees properly, you must contract your pelvic, lower back, and abdominal muscles to support and stabilize your torso while you move your legs. Because it requires a dynamic movement to bring the knees toward the chest while preserving perfect posture alignment, balance, and stability, it is a good exercise for developing the core muscles. Hence, including high knees in your exercise regimen can help you develop a stronger and more resilient core, which is vital for both injury prevention and general physical performance. 3. Calorie Burning As a high-intensity aerobic exercise, high knees help in weight loss and calorie burning. You should feel your breathing and pulse rate quicken as soon as you start the exercise. You will burn calories as you continue to switch between your arms and knees. On most calorie charts, high knees are classified as a calisthenic workout. Calisthenic workouts such as high knees can burn approximately 7 calories per minute when done vigorously. At an average rate, you should be able to burn between 3.5 and 7 calories every minute. 4. Cardiovascular health. Your body needs more oxygen to power your working muscles when you perform high knees, which raises your heart rate. Over time, this constant increase in heart rate develops the heart muscle, increases the heart's pumping efficiency, and improves cardiovascular endurance overall. So doing high knees is a great way to improve your heart. And we are all aware of the significance of our heart. 5. Increased agility. The rapid movements involved in high knees can improve agility and quickness. The benefit of agility lies in its ability to enhance one's ability to move quickly and gracefully while maintaining balance and control. Improved agility enables individuals to react swiftly to changing situations, evade obstacles, and navigate through complex environments with ease. This can be beneficial for athletes participating in sports that require rapid changes in direction or speed. 6. Improved endurance. Do you get tired while engaging in sports or after a little run? Doing high knees, you can improve your endurance. You will be able to maintain the movement for longer periods of time. And as you grow more used to the workout, you will last even more longer. While great for lower body strength and cardiovascular fitness, high knees might have disadvantages for some people. First of all, if done improperly or too often, they may put undue strain on the knees and hips and cause injury, especially in people who already have joint problems. Also, not everyone should do high knees as some medical conditions, such as arthritis or knee injuries, may make them painful or uncomfortable. Lastly, if paired with other exercises that target a wider range of muscles, high knees may not effectively target specific muscle groups, potentially restricting overall muscular development and functional fitness gains. But how can this be avoided? Muscle imbalances and overuse injuries can be avoided by mixing up your workout regimen and focusing on different muscle groups with varied exercises. Stretching and mobility exercises, particularly for the quadriceps and hip flexors, can also assist maintain flexibility and lower the chance of strain during high knees. Last but not least, heeding the body's cues, such pain or discomfort, and altering the intensity or frequency of high knees appropriately will help escape injuries and guarantee a secure and efficient exercise regimen. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you at our next video. Please like and subscribe. Is endurance your problem while doing workout? I got the right video for you. Watch and find out how to increase your endurance.